more bodies have been recovered in fire ravaged Northern California. Most of them from the town of Paradise, which has burned to ashes by the most destructive wildfire in the state's history. I just can't believe it. It really looks like a war zone. Heavenly Father, please help us. The charred remains of victims who couldn't get out in time were discovered beneath the blackened ruins of their homes or in or near burnt out cars. Oh my God. Oh my God. The flames chasing them to their deaths. I'm so scared right now. So terrified. And those bodies were burned so badly, it's made identifying the dead nearly impossible. I don't like having to get up here every night and tell you about more bodies that we're recovering. We're serious about this. When we give an evacuation order, we mean it. The campfire, as it's been named, burning more than 100,000 acres as of this morning and only about 25% contained. That's according to Cal Fire. And it's destroyed more than 6,700 buildings, many of which were homes. I could have mounted up and had everything I needed, but I didn't have time. So this is hard stuff. I got out of there in my life and I feel thankful. I mainly it's my kids. I lost everything, but things can be replaced but kids can't a grim search for the missing went on today love you crystal please try and get all of us somehow and then go up approximately about half a mile past the death toll the could still rise right making the campfire one of the deadliest i am surrounded by fire meanwhile in the southern part of the state the wolsey fire continues to rage on I know that firefighters from various agencies, including our fire department, Ventura County, have slept in the streets overnight to keep an eye on fires. Tens of thousands of residents have been forced to evacuate with no idea if they have a home to go back to.